Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel So today we're going to be continuing with our 100% exploration walkthrough for Neo Today we're going to be doing Spider Nest Castle which is our 7th episode So in these walkthroughs we pick up all the items, get all the loot uh, We get all the Kadamas and we will show you all the shortcuts and all the little secrets around the map uh, So yeah, there are no enemies in this walkthrough like I say on every episode So if you're looking for a walkthrough to maybe destroy a boss Or you're stuck in a certain area then this is probably not the walkthrough for you. This is an exploration walkthrough. So anyway, I'll get into the first main area here. We have a corpse with some loot on top of this uh, watchtower to our left. Uh, so pick that up. There's going to be some rifle ammunition there. Uh, on the other tower, there's no loot. But if we go behind it, we will have a sneaky little Kadama over here, which is going to be our first Kadama for this level. Uh, I also want to mention, uh, as we head into this building for some more loot, that this uh, level has some fragments, which uh, if you find all five, you get a trophy and whatnot. Uh, though I I don't show the fragments in the video because the level has been cleared out, if you follow this guide, you will go to all the areas where the fragments are. Uh, the first one would have been on that door that we just came through before going across the bridge, but you can't really miss that one. I will try and mention where all five of them are anyway. So once we get to the shrine, we can't proceed through the door straight ahead because that is a shortcut we open a bit later on. So we're going to head over here to the left and start climbing up this hill. Pick up that water amulet just there. Just watch out for the boulder coming up this hill and the giant at the top. It's pretty tough. I think he is the first of his kind. And yeah, over here to the right, we're going to have some explosive rounds. Once we get to this next area, we can climb the watchtower to our right. There's going to be a, another corpse here with uh, some of those bombs in it and yeah over here to the left there's going to be another building with some more loot and uh, if we go around back of this building we have got our second Kadama on this mission so before proceeding I just want to mention that we can go up here but this is the door that will take us to the boss a bit later on but uh, we won't be able to open that quite yet so uh, yeah what we want to do is go over here to where we can see this roof we want to drop down and over here, just uh, near this hole, we have got another longbow, if you like. And uh, we're going to hop around the roof until this corner and jump down onto this little tiny roof here. And just here, we're going to have our third Kadama. So, yeah, just hop down now. And uh, before doing anything around this area, what we're going to do is go around to the right here. And uh, we're going to open this shortcut. This is the shortcut that I mentioned before. Uh, where the uh, first shrine is or the second shrine I guess and yeah here we have it right here so I've got a nice little shortcut now we don't have to climb around that uh, mountain every time we die so yeah uh, just so we know where we are we're going to go back to this building this is the building that we could have jumped in but we decided to jump around to get the Kadama and yeah in this uh, hot spot I don't think the hot spring I think it's just normal little bath whatever there's going to be a sword and around here this is the main door to go into the building. There's going to be another fragment here. But we're not going to go in there quite yet. We're going to go down into this secondary area. Down on the cliff sides. And yeah, there's going to be a piece of armor in this little hut just here. And if we continue down this way, we've got another corpse just here with a spirit stone on it. And uh, before we go into this cave, there's going to be a little hut to our right with a little chest in it. And if we go around back of this little hut, we have got our fourth Kadama. So yeah, we're getting on with those Kadamas quite fast in this level. This level's not actually that big if you know, or if the level's cleared out, I guess. But uh, yeah, so uh, coming down to the cave, it's actually going to be a dead end. But there are going to be some nice interesting things here. So there are some Master Ninja locks there. And in this big chest, there's going to be a load of stuff with some epic steel Katanas. So nicely done there. So now we're just going to head all the way back up to the main area where we can open the door where the fragment was and we're going to go into this main big building so there's nothing outside in the uh, outside area so to the right uh, take note that there's normally like a load of walls here but they're all destroyable so I uh, just destroyed all of them just so we get a better idea of where we are if we come all the way to the far left hand side corner uh, this is going to be guarded by yokai so be careful and going back outside through this alleyway, there's going to be another yokai out here defending this chest. Uh, so we're going to go around the outside of the house, the left hand side. And over here, there's going to be a little heart with another, or the first, sorry, first mimic in it. 
So, like I said last time, whistle, get him to come out. You can technically open it and then still try and copy him. It's the same difference. But yeah, uh, copy his uh, gesture and he will drop you his loot without having to fight him. And we get a nice hand cannon from that guy. So, uh, over here to the left, we've got another yokai. And yeah, we're going to head back into the building. We could head back all the way around or we could go up this little ramp here. It's literally the same. As you can see, we're in exactly the same spot. So now we are in the central area of the building. But like I said, we can... Like, this building's really tiny. So it don't look like it. So from here, we're going to take this right-hand side passage. And to the left, it's going to be a really, really big building. And there's going to be a massive yokai in here defending the keys of the castle gates. And yeah, behind here, there is a hot spring. If you want, you can go and rest in there to get the buff. And yeah, now we're just going to head back into the building and take the left alleyway one more time. Come over here to the right in this little room. There's going to be a corpse. And now we're just going to head outside through this door. And before advancing to a secondary area, I'm going to be showing you what we want to do is come to this uh, secondary door to the right. And as you can see, we've made a bit of a shortcut back. So if we decide to go down to the second area, uh, or sorry, secondary area, if we die, we've got a bit of a short way back. So... You know, like I said, it's secondary because we've already got the key to that uh, tower that we can use to get to the boss. So down here, um, there are obviously going to be, uh, there's going to be at least two uh, fragments. So yeah, if, you, if you're after all the fragments and all the Kadama, as you can see, there's one over here hidden to the right. Then you should definitely come down here. Uh, in this building or this big area where the Kadama was, there's going to be another one of those fragments. And uh, over here, just watch out, in most of these little side caves, there's going to be spiders on the roof that will try and uh, jump down and ambush you as soon as you go underneath them. So just be careful of that. There's another one hanging off on the roof in this cave just here. Uh, yeah, just pick up that loot and uh, come up this side cave to the left and come up the ladder. And we are going to circle back round in a second. Uh, there's going to be one more little area. So here, first we're going to take a left. And uh, after this first torch, there's going to be a little secret cave, or sorry, cave path over here to our right. And there's going to be an item just hanging off there. So if we continue up this way, uh, there's going to be a, a corpse over here to our right. And there's going to be another Kadama over here to our right, hidden in the little bushes. Uh, ignore all that loot over there. I kind of decided to empty my item box over there because if not, I weren't able to pick up anything. So yeah, ignore that uh, Christmas tree over there. Uh, anyway, there's uh, going to be some more loot in this uh, hut just here. But the most important thing here is the Kadama and the fragment. So yeah, so now we want to head back out. And this time we are going to take the right-hand side path. Uh, before going up that little path there with the corpse, we want to come all the way to the end. There's going to be another corpse just here. Uh, with some items on it and there's also going to be one of those big skeletons here so just be careful now we're going to come back and go up that spider web ramp that uh, we seen where the corpse was and as you can see we have looped all the way back around to this first area of the level and yeah we can knock this ladder down if we want a little bit of a shortcut so yeah now all we've got left to do is uh, activate this shrine again rest and level up if you like and uh, we are just going to head all the way up the left hand side ramp where they try to throw the boulder at us. Uh, by the way he will spawn again so be careful. And now we're just going to head all the way up to where I mentioned that gate was that we weren't able to access because we didn't have the key before. We're going to activate the uh, shrine just here. And before heading up to the boss castle the first thing we're going to do is go to the right. Uh, just here we can go left or right, really doesn't matter, uh, you can go down the left, it's the same thing as going down here. Uh, there's no items on the way down, so don't worry about it. Uh, just here we are going to have an item over here, guarded by a spider to our right. And uh, over here on this wall, on this stone wall, we are going to have a, another fragment. And over here to the left we are going to have a, another corpse with some loot on it. And if we continue this way and open this door from this side, we have got a... A sh I wouldn't like to call it a shortcut because there's not really much point of going back there but we've got another optional way to get down to where that optional area was where well the cliff sides were where that uh, cave was with a dead end so yeah we've got another way there I guess if you didn't find it the other way so yeah so on the way back we will have to take the right hand side uh, way up because you're not going to climb up that massive cliff and we are going to be back at where the shrine was 
And yeah, we're pretty much ready to go for the boss here, but there's still a few things we can do. So uh, before heading up this uh, path up to the boss castle, we want to go over here to the left. Uh, there's also one of those um, dark turtle guys there that drop a load of loot. I really can't know what I don't know what they're called to be honest. Uh, but yeah, they'll be around there. Uh, up the hill to the left, there's going to be uh, another little chest and. Just here, there's the boss castle, but before heading in, we want to come around the left because at the end here, there's going to be our final fragment, a corpse just here, and uh, over here, we are going to have a, another Kadama. This is not quite the last one, I think there's one more still. So, yeah, uh, we should have five fragments by now. So, now we are going to head into the boss castle uh, over here to the right. Uh, obviously, there's a load of enemies in here, so be careful. Over here to the right there's a corpse and underneath the stairs to head up there's going to be another corpse and uh, now we want to head up the stairs. Uh, there's a little secret area here before heading to the boss. So over here to the left uh, through the second passageway as you can see there's a Kadama over here that we can't access. So that kind of gives away that there's something around here that's not quite right. So what we want to do is instead of heading up the stairs head to the right and come down this spider web. Uh, over here to the right there's a corpse. And down here, there's actually going to be another little shrine alongside a door that is actually a shortcut, a kind of pointless shortcut at this point because we've already got the shrine. But yeah, this door will lead back to the entrance of this big castle that we just came in. So yeah, uh, we can come up this hand ladder just here and this will take us to a room with a chest. And this is also going to be the same floor as where that Kadama is. So we want to head out the door and take an immediate right. And that's going to be our final little Kadama. And that's it guys. Yeah. You can uh, come around here. Pick up this last corpse. And now you just want to head back and uh, climb the spider web. And access the boss area. So yeah guys. That is all the items. All the Kadamas. All the fragments. For the uh, spider nest castle. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please go like and subscribe. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter, guys, and we will see you next time.